Welcome back. You're watching TVW and we're talking MRIs. When we hear MRI, we often think of loud noises, small spaces, and having to hold really still. But luckily, more and more hospitals and imaging centers are turning to open MRIs, including one right here in Middleton. Joining us, I have Amanda Stotesbury. She's a lead MRI technologist with Midwest Open MRI. Amanda, thanks for joining me today. So tell me about your thanks, position nice as a technologist. Here. I gotta say, that's even new for me. I would have guessed technician, but it's technologist. What is your role as a lead MRI technologist? So yeah, the technologist and technician kind of goes hand in hand. It's used interchangeably a lot in our field. Um, but my role here as the lead MRI technologist is that I perform a majority of our MRI scans. So I deal with the patients directly, um, help them with their fears of claustrophobia, positioning them comfortably. Um, but besides that, I also deal with our accreditation and our credentialing. So we are accredited through the IC, which stands for the Intersocietal Accreditation Commission. And that helps us stay at our very best. Um, it has high standards for technical sides of things, patient care, and also even as a staff to make sure that we, we are like to hear that when we're talking about our health. Well. That's so important. And anything to help us feel a little bit better when we're getting things done. Speaking of feeling better, you mentioned that you help patients feel more comfortable. I've had an MRI, but it was in a closed one, and it was really loud, a lot of loud noises. Why is that? And is the open one the same way? Actually, the open one can sometimes be worse because of the open design. There's not as much area to insulate those noises, but in general, MRIs are loud and noisy just because of how we need to get the exam or how we need to get the data in order to get the pictures. So you're basically laying in a giant superconducting magnet. That's what an MRI scanner is. Um, and at the beginning of each sequence, it makes some noises um, and then it's going to make a lot of noise depending on how we have it programmed. Our bodies as humans are made up of mostly water and MRI primarily focuses on the hydrogen molecules in our body and what those noises are doing is exciting those electrons and depending on how we as a technologist have it programmed it's going to saturate out things or highlight things on how much we have those electrons flipping. So depending on what sequence you're running, it may sound a little louder than other sequences. But that's why they're so loud and noisy is because we have to excite all those electrons in order to collect all that data. And then that data then is shot into, excuse me, a different program or different computer. A matrix is formed and then the photo well, or and the that brings in your role as uh, not only a technologist, but a comfort giver, encouraging people and helping them feel more comfortable. When did you start? How long have you been in this role? And what do you like most about the industry and working in it? So I have been in MRI ever since I graduated from x-ray school. I jumped right in right at the beginning. Um, so I graduated from x-ray back in 2006. So I've been around the field for quite so many years now. Um, but one of the best things that I enjoy is just dealing with the patients. Um, for me, it's helping others is the main reason why I do this. I like to help them solve why those symptoms are happening, find that underlying cause, because once you know what's causing that, then you can work on a treatment plan or you can work on that cure, whatever it needs to be. Um, besides that, the technology side of things has always intrigued me. The many advances that have been developing in this field throughout the years are phenomenal. And how that relates to the diagnosis process and what advice for me has always been intriguing. Someone that's maybe considering starting out in that field. So I think the biggest thing that as a healthcare worker provider that we need to remember, and sometimes we forget um, in the whole diagnosis, our diagnosis process, is that the patient is our primary focus. And I think the more comfortable that you can make that patient, the better exam you're gonna get, the better results that patient is gonna get. 
the better experience that patient is going to have. And overall, it's important to just, just take that extra time, that upo- extra couple seconds to, you know, add that extra cushion to make them more comfortable is going to make a world of difference, not only for you your You bring up exam, a really interesting point patient. about how making them comfortable is really a win-win in, in many cases. We have to go to break in a moment, Amanda. I'm just curious, when people are getting these tests done, how long does it take for them to get results back? So with our accreditation, our results are guaranteed within 48 business hours. On average though, our turnaround time is usually about two to three hours. Um, so it's quite quick, but those results then are sent to your ordering physician and then and you'll hear like those to get results, results from that physician. Later, so. Amanda, it was a pleasure to meet you today. Thank you so much. Amanda's a lead MRI technologist with Midwest Open MRI and they're in Middleton, Wisconsin. We're TVW, we'll be right back.